All right, welcome to the brand new Fractal Workshop and welcome to Free Build Extreme Episode 7. Uh, I am your host, JVN. I run the YouTube channel, JVN Gaming. Been playing PC Building Simulator quite a bit. We've got to do some fun free build stuff. Uh, we built a bunch of interesting machines and uh, some different builds, some different themes, some different manufacturers, a whole bunch of stuff. And so yeah, today we're in the brand new Fractal Design Workshop just released uh, in tandem with the 1.12 update. And uh, today's gonna be all about, well, it's gonna all be, be all about fractal design. So we've got this beautiful uh, zen, magical workshop. We walk outside and it's beautiful, relaxing. Uh, the first time we've been able to go outside in PC Building Simulator, so that's fun. Um, but today we're gonna be doing a fractal design themed PC build I inside of the free build mode of PC Building Simulator. Uh, so as part of the 1.12 update, we got a bunch of new parts from Fractal Design, so we're gonna be doing a build that's gonna showcase a few of those parts. So let's go ahead and scroll all the way down to cases. We got quite a few new cases as part of the 1.12 update, and they're all from Fractal Design. They start right here with the Meshify 2 with clear tempered glass. Oh, actually, I lied. I totally lied to you. It starts with the Meshify 2 XL light tempered glass, the light color tempered glass. So we've got a bunch of different versions of the Meshify 2. Uh, we've got black, we've got white, we've got different configurations as far as, we have different uh, side panels as far as the tinting on the side panels. You can see we've got a bunch of different versions. We've got a solid side panel. Uh, and then we've got the Define 7 and the Define 7 XL also in a few different colors with different side panel options and a few different like, uh, interior layouts? Actually, the interior layout's all the same. Uh, the interior layout's pretty similar for all of these. But then we've got one oddball, actually, in here. It's hard to catch, but the Meshify 2 Compact, the only Meshify 2 Compact in the game, but it's new as part of 1.12. And this is what we're gonna build today. So this is with clear tempered glass, and that's the only configuration, just a white one. Uh, so we're gonna build that. So uh, it's gonna be similar to these other ones. In fact, so this is the, this is the compact here. Uh, we've got on, on display over here, this is the regular Meshify 2. Regular, non-XL Meshify 2. So you can see this one has like a beauty panel and room for a bunch of hard drives. The compact doesn't have that. It's more of like a standard little mid tower. No real like, you know, massive hard drive storage or anything. There are gonna be, there's space for what, four drives? No, three drives from uh, on, on underneath the power supply basement, so. Pretty nice. Uh, so we're gonna head and get started and get building in this. So we'll pull up both of our side panels. Let's open up our front panel. We can remove this dust filter. Uh, we could remove this. There's really no reason to. We don't need to, because well, we're just gonna put it back. So we can swing it open. In fact, we're really not gonna need to do that because we're gonna leave these front fans. We're gonna leave this back fan. We're gonna leave all that as fractal design stuff. We're gonna try to do as much fractal design components as we can in this build. Fractals have a ton, ton, ton of different like component types in the game, but they've got a few and case fans is one of them. Cases, obviously, is one of them. Uh, and then there's gonna be a few others we're gonna talk about. Some of them uh, new in the 1.12 update. So let's jump into motherboards. We're not gonna find anything from Fractal Design as far as motherboards go, but we are gonna check out one of the new motherboards from the 1.12 update that was introduced. The uh, We've got some new Z590, the first time we've had Z590 boards in the game. Uh, one of them was very interesting. We're not gonna build with it here. I built with it a little bit when we got to do uh, a live stream for the update. Uh, the Z590 Carbon EKX actually is the first board in the game that has a full uh, a full mono block for the motherboard, so it cools the CPU and both the VRMs. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that's a lot of fun. But we're not gonna build that here. We're actually gonna use the Z590 Torpedo because it's unique looking. Uh, it's got a cool like dark blue colorway, which we're gonna try to kind of play off a little bit. Uh, it's pretty similar, close-ish, to that blue that we see in Fractal's little snowflake logo on their fans. This is the old Fractal design logo you see there. Uh, the new one, well, it's on the wall. <laughs> That's their new logo. Uh, and it's also on it's also on the case. So you can see it there on the front panel here. Yeah. So their, logo, their logo's changed. This is some of their old components. Their old uh, Celsius AIOs have their old logos on them, some of their old case fans, some of their old cases. Uh, but then their new AO, which we're going to use in this build, is going to have their new logo. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up all these memory clips. And we are going to just go with some pretty nice uh, Trident Z non-RGB in black. And we're going to go with 4,500 megahertz to go with our 11th gen Intel that we are going to be using in this motherboard. So we'll do eight... Uh, four 8 gig sticks there, 4500 megahertz, 
not too shabby. Let's get a CPU in here as well. Uh, like I said, we could do, well, we could do 10th gen. Uh, we're going to go with 11th gen because that was brand new in 1.12, but we could do 10th gen. Anything with the LGA 1200 socket would fit uh, in this motherboard. So we also could do these newer Pentiums, actually. Newer Pentium, newer Celeron. Yeah, I forget that there's a bunch of, actually a bunch of those CPUs that are using LGA 1200. Um, but we're going to go with 11. Well, we're going to go with the 11th gen, and we're going to go with 11700K. We're not going to go top of the line. We're going to 11700K, but that's still, sorry, that's still 8 cores, 16 threads, 900K, obviously a higher clocked 8-core, uh, 16 thread with the i9 as opposed to the i7, but the i7 is no slouch. We're going to use that. Uh, try something a little different. We got Intel's new logo also. First time that showed up in the game as well. Uh, it's, you know, looks looks uh, looks nice. Looks like a, a logo. Uh, okay, let's get our thermal paste there. Let's actually pull apart the top of the case because we need to get our AIO up here. We are going to use Fractal Design's new 240 RAD. Uh, that was introduced in the 1.12 update. So we got all of their Celsius Plus coolers. And I guess we can show them first. They won't all fit in this case. Um, but they have a 360 rad, a 280 rad, and a 240 rad. The 360 rad could go in the front of this case, but we're not going to do that. The 280 is, I think, too wide. Uh, and then, but we're going to go to the 240. And we're going to put it up top, which is going to work out great because that's going to be mounted in exhaust orientation. We've got intake from the front fans here, exhaust at the back, exhaust at the top. That's a pretty good setup right there. Heat will rise and the radiator will pull the hot air out. So not bad, uh, and I really like their new AIO. The block, the pump, like the the block uh, pump press combo on the block there looks really nice, very cool. And you will see it's actually got like a very classy amount of RGB on it. Nothing too crazy, but it looks pretty good. Uh, okay, so that's our CPU, CPU cooling. We've got me we've got memory. Uh, let's get some storage set up. Uh, we're just gonna do. We've got three M.2 slots on this. We're gonna populate. I think a couple of them. And I do like this Patriot Viper M.2. We can't, oh, we can't get it under there. Okay, I wasn't sure if it would fit there. I don't know if it'll fit there though, which is interesting. This this heatsink doesn't have quite as much, oh no, it does. Okay, I don't know why I thought it didn't have enough clearance. Okay, so we'll do two of those. So that's two two terabyte M.2 drives there on the motherboard. We're also gonna do a little bit of three and a half inch solid state storage for fun and because I want to see the RGB up front. So we're going to do the Team Group T-Force Delta Max 1 terabyte. We're going to do a couple of those in these 2.5 inch uh, hard drive little bays here in the front. There are also two around back, but uh, that would be sad to put those back there because they're too cool looking to not be up front and center. So we've got those installed. That'll be all of our storage. That's going to be good for uh, six terabytes of storage. It's not bad pretty good and room to expand if we're so in, if we're so inclined to we can do like i said two more two and a half inch drives and then we've got room for two three and a half inch drives oh i thought it was three it is two it's two three and a half inch drives back here uh so still a, a compact case but very capable uh let's get a power supply in here now fractal design does have power supplies in the game so we're gonna go ahead and use that and actually oh so they do have Oh, these are, they do have SFX power supplies too. We're not gonna need that, but the smaller form factor SFX Fractal makes as well, which is pretty unique actually. We're gonna go with the 860 watt uh, Ion Plus Platinum. And as soon as I remove the bracket, and then we'll do that again. Okay, I always forget to do that. And then let's get our bracket back in place now. Please, there it is. Okay, so that's uh, power supply. So that's all of the fractal components we're gonna get in here. Cause we do need a GPU, but yeah, we're not gonna get any help from fractal design as far as GPUs go. Uh, as far as GPUs go though, let's go, we've got Intel on the CPU. Let's go with a 6800 XT and we're gonna go with MSI's Gaming X Trio. And they have two of the 16 gigs, so the 16 gig of VRAM version of the 6800 XT, well, all the 6800, that's so insane, like, AMD's just so much more memory than NVIDIA, it's wild, uh, they, they are much more generous, we're gonna go with the higher clocks, we got the 2015 megahertz, uh, core clock, or the 2045 megahertz core clock, we're gonna go with the 2045, and you're gonna see this is a pretty big card, but it's gonna fit in here with a decent amount of room to spare, and, uh, I think it looks pretty good, so three fans, obviously Gaming X Trio, three fans, and it's gonna be two eight pin powers for this card. I wish, you know, maybe like the PCB edge wasn't like this amber color, but uh, other than that, it's a nice looking card. 
And they make this for uh, NVIDIA as well, the Gaming X-Trio, so. Uh, okay, cool, so we're in good shape here. We just need to pretty much just cable everything up to together. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and swing this shut, since we can, and let's put this top panel stuff back together. So I think it goes uh, dust filter, and then this panel, and then another dust filter. So much dust filtration for this, which is exhaust. We really, we really don't need that. I mean, we could do, you could do this. It looks kind of weird. Uh, presumably you could also do this, please. Thank you. You could also just do this, which that's actually not bad. You really just don't need that dust filtration since it's all exhaust. So I might go like that. Uh, it looks pretty good and it would make it maybe a little more free flowing on the exhaust there. So we're gonna do that, you know. Uh, okay, cables. Uh, I toyed a little bit with the idea of like, doing blue cables and trying to play off this blue, but this blue is really hard to match. Like this really muted, almost like blue gray, blue charcoal. So because it's hard to match, we're just gonna go with black and we're gonna go with, uh, we're going with the black sleeved cables. They're somewhere. Uh, black sleeved. There's so many black variations. Yeah, this sleeved braided plain black. So these are gonna be a lot smaller looking. So it'll be kind of clean. Should look pretty nice. It's a graphics card, get our motherboard connected, get our UPS power to the motherboard connected, uh, get our AIO connected straight to the motherboard, case fan to header, case fan, and daisy chain to case fan, daisy chain, case, to motherboard, and then we'll just need a new SSD power, SSD power, SSD data, and another SATA data, and there we go. That's everything connected. We should be, we should be good. This should turn on. Yes, that's good. Uh, okay, so we'll go ahead and get our USB thumb drive set up here, and we can get an operating system installed. So I really like that AIO, I think it's classy. Nice and simple, nothing too crazy. And these SSDs, I just love how good they look. So I'm gonna get a few things set up here, uh, get some things installed, and then we can go through the RGB and make that look good. See how we do on like temps on OCT? I'm curious to see how this 240 mil uh, AIO from Fractal Design does in cooling our 11700K. And uh, then we'll check in and see how performance looks too. So got everything installed here. Ran 3 Mark at a 15,245. So the graphics is doing a 16,272. The CPU, 11,229. So for comparison, CPU, 11,229. This is a 11,700K, 11,229. Uh, compared over here to an 11,900KF, 13,148. So almost 2,000 less points than that. Uh, as far as the graphics, 16,504, this is a 6,900 XT. Uh, the 6,800 XT is actually not doing too bad there. 16,272, so the score is reasonably close. The CPU's, you know, the CPU's a bit worse, but the graphics is surprisingly close. Uh, in the middle here, we've got a 5,600X with an RTX 3070. Uh, doing much worse, especially in the CPU. Much, much, much worse. So, uh, kind of interesting overall, actually. Uh, I want to check temps quick, so let's run OCT. We're going to do an infinite test and hit on. And at second five, we are going to go. So we're sitting at almost 43C on the CPU to start. And we're going up and peaking at around 68C. So that uh, AIO is doing just fine, cooling our CPU there. And uh, it's looking good doing it. Let's jump in and do some lighting. So we've got the ability to customize all of these uh, LEDs, addressable LEDs in the computer. So we've got the motherboard, uh, two separate, oh, sorry, three separate zones on the graphics card. I've never actually looked, what are the three zones? I see potentially one, two. I, I don't know, I, huh, there are three zones, weird. Uh, let's actually, let's find out. I'm curious, what am, what am I doing? Uh, let's go static, you can go yep, and then you can go pink. Oh, I gotta go back to static, okay, oh, static. I'm so curious, what, and then yellow? Sure, what are our, what are our zones here? So yeah, we've got this LED, the strip, and then something else that I can't see? Maybe it would be more like visible if we had it vertically mounted. Wow, I do not know where the last zone is on that graphics card. That's interesting. 
We aren't getting anything on the back plate, so... I don't know where that last one... Oh, oh, I see a little bit of yellow. I think we could see it if we had this vertically mounted. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Yeah, if it was vertically mounted, we'd be able to see that really well. That's kind of fun. That's interesting. Uh, so yeah, we have the ability, of course, to like make everything rainbow. We already had that. Let's go and try to match our dark blue a little bit. It's going to be a little tricky. Wow, actually, that was not a bad first try. That's not too bad. Trying to kind of get that color, uh, get it semi-close to the motherboard. It's always hard because like components show color a little differently, and that's true in real life too. But that's actually not bad. So uh, we go ahead and put our side panel back on. Uh, actually, let's do the side panel. And then let's do our clear tempered glass side panel. And that right there is a computer. It's a, it's a me incomplete case. It must be because of this dust filter. Does it actually care? Do it, does it care? It must care. I don't think I'm missing anything else. Yeah, it did not. It didn't. It didn't love that. I don't think that would prevent you from doing anything in free build, obviously. Uh, potentially in the campaign, though. Yeah, in real life, you really don't. I mean, you don't. You don't need dust filters if you don't want them. But there you go. That is a super clean Fractal Design PC built in the brand new Fractal Design Meshify 2 Compact, released in the 1.12 update. Uh, we got a few other parts that were from the 1.12 update in this computer. So hopefully you all enjoyed. And if you did enjoy and you want to see more videos of Free Build Extreme, be sure to subscribe to the official PC Building Simulator YouTube channel. And thank you so much. This has been JVN from the YouTube channel JVN Gaming. I will see you all next time. See ya.